Welcome to the post show interview of episode 1867. Today's guests are Liam McEnany and Julia Wirtz. I think what I think is great about this is it ended with kind of a discussion of my selfish asshole behavior. And right before the podcast started, I had to call a friend to apologize for leaving without paying the bill where we were hanging out. Oh my God. Do you find yourself doing that a lot and people calling you an asshole? No, actually, believe it or not, that's the first time that's happened to me in like years. Where well, you just walked out? Where I just, yeah, where I just walked out and without, without paying. I mean, it was just coffee, so it wasn't like a huge amount of money. But, uh, you know. Do you pay her back now, or do you just go? I mean, it wasn't a date anyway. I'm right? never gonna see her again. <laughs> do, do you pay her back, or, or is it like, oh, it's, she, she's fine? It's coffee. How dare you assume it's not a date? We know. It's what not. is that supposed to mean? We, you would, you we would, met the person. Yeah, we know who you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, you're not dating her. <laughs> In What's that supposed to mean? It, we're, it's supposed to mean that we're doing her a favor for not even mentioning her name right now. Wow. She's I, been on the show though. There's your hint. I, I assume it was a been business meeting, show, and it was Danny Hatch. No, I actually have friends that I hang out with. Come on. No, I'm serious. All right. All right. One of your friends is Julia, Julia Wartz, and you uh -huh. said, hey, let's have uh, Julia on the show. Right. How do you think she did? I think she did okay. She was a little quiet. Refused okay. to answer some questions. I, I didn't want to, you know, tromp all over your interview like you did to mine. <laughs> you guys are really good friends. Yeah. <laughs> How long have Just you known him? Best. A year. No, actually, I met Liam many years ago. Uh-oh. You don't remember this? Where? When? You were very drunk. I was probably <laughs> very drunk. This is As was I. So then we did not become friends for many years. Right. Where did we meet? Uh, I think through Karen Snyder. Right. A party somewhere. Was oh. there like a fight or anything or just not a connection? What do you remember, really? I, I had his baby. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, and I don't remember ate anything. Ate it. How long ago was that? Because I can tell you what I was distracted by. Uh, <laughs> I feel like it was three or four years ago. Really? That mm, ooh, wasn't working on anything then. Mm. On, the, on the show, Liam was saying that um, he didn't put out his podcast with us as guests because he sprained his ankle. Well, what happened was... That it went to your brain. <laughs> no, and okay. And you couldn't, you couldn't maneuver uh, a keyboard. You, you know what happened was... Uh, so I sprained my ankle on Labor Day, which was right before the Jewish holidays. And there were just no doctor's offices open that week. So like for a week, I was essentially laying in bed in like pain with ice on my fucking ankle, not really able to leave my house too much. or That is so retarded. You couldn't see a doctor because... I'm all telling you, none all, of... Not all doctors are Jewish. But I'm telling you, but, like, all, all the ones in my neighborhood were either Jewish or just taking the holidays off anyway. And you can only walk to the doctor? And you can't walk? Well, no. I mean, my parents gave me a lift to, like, an emergency doctor mm -hmm. to make sure it wasn't broken and needed immediate attention. So he wasn't Jewish enough? <laughs> What's happening? It's like it's like one of those twenty four hour clinics that does emergency service instead of an ER. And oh. so the whole time you were laying in bed. The whole time I was laying in bed, I was like, you know, just like uh, I was really knocked on my ass. What kind of life do you lead where you where an ankle could just stop you from working for an entire week? <laughs> well, I was Who? doing. I had other stuff to do. It's not like the like it's what? Not what like did I you wake have a lot up, of tweeting to do? It's, it's not like I wake up in the morning and I'm like, well, my full-time job is my podcast. It's the only thing I have to take care of. So I'll, What I'll did just you do take that. care of in that week? I had this album that I had to like set up promotional stuff for. I had to set up a trip to Los Angeles. I have like work that pays me. I have like work that actually pays me. That I, she you thinks know, you jerk off guys like that. I, <laughs> <laughs> Lackadaisy. He doesn't care then either. <laughs> like, oh well, it's like, only I fifty have a bucks. Bad ankle, I can't do it. <laughs> you get what you pay for. Liam <laughs> makes those dicks big. Well, <laughs> well, uh, we'll work on putting those Jew Jewish holidays a little more apart so that people. Well, no, can it was get just it was care. just like very poor timing, and it was like I don't know. It really I don't know. It was very emotionally distressing for me. Also, oh my God. you're such a sensitive soul. I am. I'm a baby. What happens when you accidentally like burn your finger when you're getting out the pizza from the oven or something? You know what's funny is that doesn't bother me at all. Because there's a reward coming. Because it shouldn't. <laughs> pizza. <laughs> you know? You don't get some, like, it's not like, oh, if I roll my ankle, I get a hot dog. Why is this the dog pile on Liam Day? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I'm it, feeling very sensitive right now, and I don't Yeah, you guys, Liam understand. is a very pretty, pretty princess. Yeah. Don't hurt his feelings. The meanest people are the most sensitive. You notice? <laughs> You know, I feel like it came to this interview very, like, open, very, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what, oh, before, before you judge how mean we were uh, <laughs> on, on this little snippet of goodness, uh, <laughs> listen to episode 1867, and you guys decide, and let us know on the forums, keithandthegirl.com slash forums. Thank you so much for listening. We'll talk to you next time. Keith and the
Journal.com.